Okay guys, welcome back. I'm here with the Kmart 360 Skyview drone. It's a dual GPS drone, currently available at Kmart Australia. And I'm here for its first uh, demo flight and we'll see how it, uh, how it flies, how the camera is and maybe even a distance test. We'll see if we've got enough battery life for that. I'll do a time flight test during this review. So, okay guys, uh, I'll just put my hat cam on. So first of all, I'm in the shade here. I'm out at this rather large field. No one's here. Um, first of all, we've got to turn the quadcopter on. I'll just make sure that lead is plugged in. First of all, that popped out somehow. So we turn the quad on. All the lights are flashing, guys. Then you turn the controller on, up and down. Now, this power button is flashing because it is acquiring the GPS at the moment alright guys so um, while it's doing that what we'll do is press this button here which is the compass calibration and all the lights are flickering so what we've got to do is rotate it 360 degree in circles like this until the front lights go solid red Okay, they're solid red as you can see. The back ones are blinking, so you've got to have it face down and do the same. Until those lights go solid blue. And it's already done it, so that's good. Okay, now I'm going to set up the app. So, we'll look for the GPS signal. Uh, the Wi-Fi signal, rather, on the app. It's called Wi-Fi GPS, so just click on that, and I'll also start a MobiZen recording right now, hey, and we'll play. get into the app. And there we are, we have telemetry, and as you can see on the screen here, I've got 10 satellites already guys, okay? Now to do the gyro uh, calibrations, two sticks down to the left and those lights are flashing and then they've come solid again. So we're ready to take off now guys. I've got the helipad just there. I'll bring my water with me because it's rather warm this morning. And let's go for a flight test. Okay, now when you calibrate this one with a compass, it tells you not to have any jewellery or, uh, you know, um, keys or anything on you as well. So try to keep that in mind. Don't have any metal objects on you like a watch, keys, phone. All right, now to arm the motors. On this one, you just a quick flick of the throttle. I'll hit the... One key take off, which is the back button here, and we're good to go. There it is on the screen. I've got 17 satellites now, guys, and it's holding GPS rather well. Got a great lock there. There I am in shot. How's it going, guys? <laughs> All right, so. Let's send it up and out. Believe it's in low speed, so maybe I'll try high. There's little trim buttons here for the speed. Okay, that's high speed there. So I'm in the sun here. I'll just I can see the screen in front of me, the FPV screen. And the telemetry is telling me I'm about 76 metres away. I've still got good FPV signal, guys. So that's not too bad at all. Just taking it up. So the live telemetry is quite good on this app. Eighty-two metres out. I'm coming back this way a little bit. 
Seems like a decent fly, guys. Nice and smooth. I don't see any jello on this uh, camera. It is starting to break up, however, a little bit and dropping a few frames. Now it's picked it up again at 83 meters. So I'll just let it sit there and do a slow pan around. Of the area there's a slight delay out there okay now there's different views on this uh, I'll go into another prompt over here there's a like an eye and we've got different views here so if I hit 360 it shows a different perspective there as like a normal mode So it's still got FPV signal, guys, and I'm heading out towards the end of the field there. So it's rather neat. What I should be doing is recording, actually. I took a few photos. Because what I'll do is get out of that. I'm 140 meters away, okay. So now I'll do a recording. Bring it back towards me to the side there okay so how about we do a one key return out at that distance it's about 114 meters away could be a little bit more it's saying 115 now and here it goes it's raising up i'm recording it does only record to your phone it's a pity it doesn't have an SD card, but it is coming back rather quick. You see the accuracy of the Skyview 360. So there, that's interesting. It's doing a 180 turn to face the heading that it was taking off in. It's getting pretty close. Oh, that's pretty awesome guys great landing that was awesome now that is pretty pretty accurate look at that about two feet away so all right let's test out some of the other functions i'll try to do some follow me mode if i can so i'll just throttle up this time and take it out a bit Take some pictures first. See how they turn out. Down over there. Holds GPS lock rather well, guys. Pretty impressed. Now the follow me button is this one here, so I'll have it facing me and see what it does. Okay, now the drone did move. Let me record while I'm doing this. And look at that, guys. It's turning around to keep me in frame. How awesome's that? And let's see if it follows me, and it is. <laughs> see? I'm not touching the controller. That is awesome. So follow me does work. What if I go towards it? It is going backwards. Awesome. Okay, I'll turn that off. Now let's try the surround mode, which is this top button here. Okay, what's it doing? Let's see what it's doing. It's facing that way. Okay, so it's, it is... I think it is going... Maybe I have to hit the... Key. okay so you have to hit the direction so what it did it turned around to that GPS location there and it starts to perform a surround me mode I have 19 satellites guys how awesome is that from a cheap under $140 Australian mind you GPS drone 
19 satellites, that's unbelievable. It does it rather slowly as you can see. Try to go a little bit closer to it to be in shot. Hello. <laughs> but it does perform that rather well. So if you've got a, a point of interest that you want to take a slow pan around in an orbit, this one does it rather well, guys. All right, I'll get out of that now. So it's this button here, and it is reset itself. All right, now, on the app, there is a waypoint function. Waypoint mode open, okay. So maybe I have to press this button here. Okay, let's see. Looks like I'm running out of battery, guys. I might not do that, actually, because it might end up... <laughs> I'll suss that out a bit further on another flight. We have LVC lights. I'll go back to... The other setting here. Oh, I've got to press on the sphere. And go back one. So I actually have to get out of surround mode. Okay, so it's actually not letting me go forward. So it's got a geofence already. See that? There you go. Because uh, LVC. The lights are flashing. Can I go back to the camera modes? Let me see. So as you can see, it's 12%. We've got different parameters here, guys. For um, the map. You can have the aircraft on the map there, as you can see here, in the bottom left of the screen. Allow to make coordinates, all sorts of parameters and uh, default height of the waypoint, speed of the waypoint. So it's rather it's rather uh, feature packed. This uh, drone, just letting it hover there while I'm talking, but it does have a. It won't let me go back. It, it is in a geofencing mode around, say, 30 metres from the home point. So let me do a return to home. Will it do it? Just a quick return home test again. Because we've got no battery life left, guys. It's getting rather low. 7%. So I don't want to ruin this battery. I'll do some features, uh, some videos on the other waypoint feature very soon. So that's the flight time, guys. Oh, I haven't got my watch on me, but uh, I'll take that from the footage that I've But uh, I'll take that from the footage that I've got here. So hey, guys. Hey, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty darn impressed with this one. I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, as you can see, it works rather well. The features do work. The, the follow me and surround work perfectly. The camera looked decent. Um, it's good that you can change it from a 360 perspective with a wide angle fisheye lens here. I think it's just a fisheye lens, guys, but I'll see if I can uh, put that video on a software, 360 software, and see if I can manipulate it somehow. But I don't know. I think it's just a nice uh, fisheye angle on this particular um, camera because it is a cheap camera. But it's good that you can change from the 360 fit sphere view, as you can see on the Movies Den recording on the app there, to a normal uh, field of view as well, which is a wide angle, uh, like a 2D looking view that most quadcopters have anyway. So, yeah guys, uh, pretty impressed. The flight time seemed pretty good too. I, I had it up in the air for a while. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I like this. Uh, GPS quadcopter guys, it's uh, Kmart's very first one, it's at a very affordable price and I think they're on a winner with this one so stay tuned, I'll be doing quite a few more videos on this one, I'll put an action camera on the bottom so I can take some uh, great 1080p footage via the action cam, I may do an FPV flight, put an all in one camera on top, so I've got a few things uh, I want to try with this one guys, 
and may even strip the landing gear and the camera off and just have it flying without anything and see how much that will make a difference in the flight time also. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that review as much as I did flying it today. I, I was quite impressed with it actually guys and um, please uh, comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's always great to hear from you. Enjoy the hobby guys, happy flying and I'll catch you on the next video. Alright, enjoy your weekend and bye for now.